Hey, this is Tim here. Hope you're all doing well. I'm going to give part number six a go. Um, it's on page 69. Now, this this is a little bit more... It's a bit more fun. This is a bit more challenging. So, um, obviously, the the thing that's the tricky bit is this curve. Um, th this is just um, a copy. They're both the same flange, I think. On, on both sides um, and I've, I've used this part a fair bit so I know, I know how to tackle it and one way I help people is they look at this and they don't even know where to begin with this and I, I always talk about the donut in America you know so we talk about the do this is not a full donut it's only a quarter of a donut so we start off by drawing a donut so um, I think yeah so let's start with that uh, hopefully this thing is recording um so let me get a new part and I'll just do a sketch on the top you could do this two different ways you could do it with a rev if we're drawing a donut a full revolve or you could do it with a sweep honestly um in my entire like I've used sweeps that's not true um how many times have I used a loft in the real world and actually gotten paid for it to do a job never I've never used a loft um now sweeps are useful when you're drawing pipes and when you're drawing wires you will use sweeps like a good thing um so anyway we're going to do this with a revolve it's important that you know how to use that so I'm going to draw two circles And I'm going to draw a center line, an axis of rotation away from them. And let's see if I can draw that vertical. We make it vertical now. Okay. Now, what's the outer? The outer radius is 86.5. Uh, let's just start with that's enough to remember. So, oh, this is a pain, isn't it? I'm going to have to think now. If the radius is 86.5, is it really true that the diameter is twice that? Um, yeah, no, this is making me think now. Um, what is the size of that circle then? It's 43. That's what I want. 43 and 35. So this needs to be 43. See, that even stumped me a little bit. And then this is 35 um 43 and 35 okay now the distance from the center to that line is is 65 the distance so you'll see it now in a second the distance from here to here is 65 the distance from there to there is 65 so i'll go like that from there to there is 65 okay and i'm going to exit out of this and i'm going to go to revolve and look at this a beautiful donut but we don't need 360 degrees we just need 90 and can i flip the direction i can and does it have look at that now i got a nice pipe okay and you should all know i click this button here to get the section view of it which we don't need so that that's the trick that that's that's 90 that's 80 percent of it and then we have this straight section which is 32 and i'm guessing that's 32 as well so we'll just do that so i'll click here i'm going to click both um convert entities exit and i'm going to make that 32. i'm going to do the same down here click this face I'll, t I'll, I'll hit both of these and I'll go convert entities, exit, extrude, 32. And then I'm going to I'm going to draw this. I keep I've had people ask me, is there any way we can copy and paste this down? And it's a fair question because who the hell wants to draw something twice? So um, let's create a sketch on this face and i'm going to draw a center line 
can I get it from the center? That's good enough right there. And I'm going to draw a circle, big circle, and a big circle, vertical. And what size is this? Radius 12.5. Is that 25? I hope so. Diameter 25. Make these both equal. And what's the distance to the distance? 70. 70 point to point or center to center is 70. How can we how can we center them up? We're gonna to have to get ourselves um an old horizontal line. I will make these symmetrical and they're happy out. Now what are we going to do? We're going to mess this up here. Let's have a look. Um, I need a couple of tangent lines. Oh, you bollocks. Let's try that again. That'll do. And I'll make these two. Can I make this and this tangent? There we go. Yeah, this is a bit of a pain. I have to do this four times, but I'm just going to do it. I could always mirror it. The trick when you're trying to do these tangent lines is really watch, um, really watch the. Um, why is it not working there? If I go one, two, come on now. Watch the automatic relations that pop up pop up and they will um kind of mess you about now i can mirror these two because i'm too lazy to do it the other way now and that'll do and i'm going to get myself the circles as well that the holes in the flange diameter 10 equal okay now what's the thickness of this flange it looks like it's a thickness of eight so i'm going to click on this and go convert to entities um and i need to click on see this i can tell right away i need that circle there so i'm going to go convert entities there too or it's going to be a pain i have all these regions it's no problem all right i'm going to go extrude select the contours we want this 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 and this and i'm going to go eight i think that's it look i really yeah i think that's it is it um no how and then we we're going to need it's okay how can we mirror this or is there any way we can copy this? This is something I don't know, so I'm going to try it anyway. I you, you click it at the at the on the feature tree, and I'm pressing Control C, and I know enough that I need to click the face and go Control V, and it has an issue with the relations. It doesn't know what to do. I can either delete them or leave them dangling. Um, you're going to have if you leave them dangling, you're going to have to delete them and then reassociate them. So I'm just going to go. Oh, it's not happy there, but let's see if we can. I did copy it. My, I've never done this before, and I've never done it on video, so you're going to see that I'm lacking a little bit. Um, I have told students in the past just to draw it, and I, me, if I was doing this, but let's see if we can fix this. Yeah, see, this is missing a lot of, it's missing a lot. See, if I try and move this, those blue lines are going to go nuts. So I wonder should I have left them dangling then? Maybe let's undo this. I'm pressing Control C, Control Z. It's not doing shit. Okay, well let's happens if I delete this. Oh, I could move this though. That would that would work. No. No, I'm going to delete this and try it a different way. I'm going to press Control C, hit, highlight it. Control C, click on the face, Control V, dangle. And now we have that. And then I have to, can I move it? Um, I could try and move it.
st from start point and then what about here can i go to there it doesn't like it um hold on okay i'm gonna do this no just let's let's delete these uh, i don't know if they're right are they dangling relations the relations that, that that were there and now they're missing it's kind of a um so what do i need to do now i need to put Yeah, I, I can put that in. I have to re-put in these dimensions. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like there should be a better way of... Um... Now, if I move this, is it going to go haywire? Yeah, it does. Um, can I make them symmetrical or tangent? Um, can I go like this? And I have to put everything in coincident. Tangent. Do you see what I'm saying? It's nearly, it's 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 nearly easier just to redraw it. I find. Um, f stop. F concentric. Come on. When it, oh, that's a pain. What we could do though is we could move it and come on now, lock it in there um if i try and that doesn't want to move that's good that doesn't want to move i need to i need to make this vertical i need to make this horizontal um can i make these two tangent you're, you're literally redrawing the whole thing um no but why isn't that why is that there you go um it's about it's about the same now i need to go back in here and just edit that if someone has a better way i'm all ears on the comments i don't i don't know how to do that up to surface i just want blind and we want blind eight a little bit more challenging this piece uh we've got two, do we have any fillets radius two That's funny. I'm missing. I'm missing something here. Um, this is a radius of twenty-five, and I see that. See, see how sh I think I'm good, and I'm. Let's go back. Yeah, I'm. I, I messed up. And I, how do I fix this? Um, this is bigger because it has that fillet. Yeah, you can see it right there. See, total mess up. So this is this is radius 25 um i'm gonna have to delete that edge and now if i make this uh, that needs to be 50 and it's bollocks up um and i need to delete that relation and that tangent mate And this relation and that relation and I need to put that tangent in now um, why is this being a pain is it is it fully defined is it going to give out oh yeah one way around this is having look let me show you how to get a, to fix that if you have if you have issues like that you've got too many regions and one way is keep it nice and clean i'm being lazy is what's happening so now i'm having to delete um all these regions now i think that's it there you go now um all right what a pain um now i have to now I'm going to have to redo this guy. Do we want to fix this? It'd be nice. I, I know there's a way you can move. I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to show you a trick. But this is... I don't, I don't... I rarely use this. I could probably do this a couple of times in my, my hand. A hand, handful of times. I'm going to go feature... 
move copy but oh bodies to move move copy feature um i'm just I'm, instead of thinking about a sketch i'm just going to move this as a as a feature down let's see if i can do that uh, intersect delete keep body imported it will be here move copy bodies to move it has to be a different body then and these are the same body it's not going to work i always thought you could move features though features delete keep body uh, bodies to move no it's not gonna let me do that so i'm gonna have to copy this again sorry i click on it press con I, I click on it press Control c click on the face delete and there's that now i need to go back to the sketch and repair the sketch um okay it's already there um if i make this okay what you could do here is you could move all of this into place it's not going to go black look if if nobody was looking right now um I, I would exit out of this and i would just extrude that but that's a that's a bad thing to do we keep everything fully defined it's just a better way um whenever i look at someone else's part if i see blue on on in their sketches you know i have a, I, I i have alarm bells going off in my head that's a bit strong but i'm like thinking this person's lazy you know they're lazier than me and that's bad um now what what's up let's have a look why will this not lock in if i go there to there coincident fully defined and i'm gonna have to go back and fix the regions now um we're back on track fill it um radius two full previews on it looks like sort of a weldment you know you'd see between like a pipe and a and a plate a steel plate you're gonna have like a weldment there that's all that's representing and then we have the the, the um, where is it it's it's a two chamfer two millimeter chamfer i think that's it um a decent enough a little bit more challenging um nothing crazy should be no trouble to you shouldn't take as long as i took uh don't forget to right click here 1060 alloy go up to evaluate mass properties and that's it um all right that's part number six let's have a look at part number seven yeah a little bit hairier now now we're getting into some fun ah, it's a piece of cake little hairier ah there's nothing 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 should be there should be no trouble to anyone who's ready to take that exam all right um i hope anyone that's sitting at home um you know dealing with this coronavirus bullshit i hope you're doing okay and um you know we'll get through it in a few months take care guys bye